Hello, and thanks for checking out some thoughts I'd like to share with you. Have you ever heard the word trivia? Dictionary.com defines trivia as matters or things that are very unimportant, inconsequential, or non-essential. We've been hearing a little bit about essential and non-essential activities recently, haven't we? As Christians, we know that God's Word is essential. That's very necessary. We need to know about salvation and about Jesus. It's interesting how God has made us all different, though. Um, some of us are maybe sports-minded, and we know a lot of trivia. People that know sports trivia will be able to tell who the best baseball batter was or who won the World Series 20 years ago. They enjoy those that those sports and those activities. They, they like statistics like that. They like that trivia, and that's okay. Other people might get into history, for example. Maybe they'll remember the uh, Civil War battles, and they'll say, I know the bloodiest battle. That was Gettysburg, where over 50,000 people died. And that's important for, to them. They like history. They find trivia interesting, and that's okay. How about Bible trivia? Are there people and places and, and events that you know of in the Bible? Uh, how many sons did Jacob have? I'll bet many of you know he had 12. But here's a little piece of trivia. Did you know that they had a sister too? Not everybody knows that their sister's name was Dinah. Uh, our family likes to play this game, Wits and Wagers. Maybe some of you have it at home too. It's fun because you don't have to know the answer to win. All you have to do is place your chips on the answer that you think is the closest. And if you are winning, you get the chips. So I'll give you an example of a question right now. This is trivia that's not important, but it's kind of fun to know. Maine is nicknamed the Pine Tree State. What percent of its land is forest? Take a guess. The answer, 90%. 90% of Maine is forest. Here's another little piece of trivia that they include in the card. 89% of our country's toothpicks come from Maine. Isn't that interesting? Yeah, trivia can be very interesting. Um, when we think about what is important and non-important, we think of our gospel lesson from last Sunday. Remember the disciple who doubted and then Jesus told him, Thomas, blessed are those who have not seen and yet have believed. We are those people. We haven't seen Jesus, but we came to know him. We know the most important message, the essential message that God loved the world so much that he gave his one and only son to die for us so that we could go to heaven. And now, like Jesus told his disciples, spread that message. That's something you and I can do, and it is essential that we do it for our sakes and for the sakes of everybody. God bless you as you celebrate this Easter season.